Hello, Kansas City. It's me, it's Kai. Um, I, uh, I did a, a, a Twitter thank you to everyone in Kansas City, including the, everyone in MLS. But uh, I don't think, you know, Twitter gave me enough characters to write and, you know, tell you guys how much you guys really mean to me, how much you guys made me a man today. And I wanted to write a letter, but I don't think, you know, enough of you guys to spend time to read that letter as you will to watch this video because I know how much you guys love seeing me. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a video because since I left, I didn't get, you know, didn't get to say properly that I was leaving. And, you know, it took me by shock too, you know, that I was leaving. Kansas City, a place where I've been for four years, a place where I call home in America. So it's a tough one. Obviously, as you can see right now, I'm in Sierra Leone, um, just getting ready for a game, World Cup qualifier today against Equatorial Guinea. And uh, it's always an honor to join my national team. You know, this time I'm here, but you know, I've been thinking a lot. My heart is, is in Kansas City and thinking about all you guys there, thinking about how much I've missed everything there. Um, so I just want to do this video to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the years. Because I remember in 2009 when I got traded to Kansas City, um, Peter Vermes, the coach, called me and I told him that I would not come to Kansas City that I don't want to play in Kansas City to please trade me back to Los Angeles you know where I can play for either Chivas or Galaxy and uh, be close to my mom and he insisted that <laughs> that I, I fly into Kansas City have a meeting with him and I told him that well you're just using your money that's your fault you know you're flying me in for nothing I'm not gonna stay so fine and uh, flew me in and we had a chat in his office and obviously He's a stubborn guy. He convinced me to stay there for the remainder of the season, which I did. You know, to the first day where I walked outside for training, you know, I met uh, a girl named Shannon, you know, who's just a fan, just came out there to support and then told me that, hey, I'm going to be your number one fan. You know, maybe that changed my whole perspective about Kansas City. You know, I'm sure she, you know, she touched my heart so much because today, you know, I've adopted her as my sister my little sister in Kansas City. So uh, she does play a great role into me staying there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough for me to, uh, to do a video like this because I mean, I've been thinking about how do I you know, get to send a message to people in Kansas City because I haven't done an interview or anything that you know, people can really you know, get you know, the whole story of how I feel and everything like that. So for, for, for me to say, you know, I was happy to leave Kansas City, I can't say that, you know, because it's a place that made me who I am today. You know, it made me a man. You made, you know, people recognize who Kai Kamara is and all that. I mean, the ownership group did so much into, you know, giving us, you know, a, a, every soccer player a dream, you know, field to play, dream stadium. And you, the people of Kansas City, I mean, you show us so much love. And I mean, coming out to that stadium and, and showing us that much love, being behind us, no matter what the result of that day is. You know, not that we didn't give you guys, you know, fun games and fun results there, but I mean, it was, it was amazing. But, you know, at the same time, I just want to say, you know, thank you for putting up with me all these years putting up with all my tweets, putting up with all my fun videos. And uh, just thank you very much for getting me ready. Are you waiting for food now? Okay, I'll be there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in Sierra Leone. Um, thank you so much for getting me ready for the world. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for all the love, you know, to my teammates. I mean, you guys mean the world to me. Every single guy I've played with. You know, from the Wizards days, you know, to sporting days, every guy that came into that locker room, every guy, you know, that came in to train and left, you know, I learned from a lot of you guys, and uh, I just want to say thank you. 
Um, I'll text most of you guys, but this video, obviously, like I said, it's for the fans, for the people of Kansas City, you know, to just say thank you. I mean, my heart is in Kansas City. My heart will always be in Kansas City. Kansas City is a place where I'll call home forever in America. And uh, it's not the end of me in Kansas City. I know that, and I hope you guys know that. You know, it's just come to a point of time where, you know, sometimes you just gotta go away for a little bit. You know, for me, I think it's best for me and my family, you know, to, to move a little bit, to compete, you know, at the, at the higher level. You know, being in England now, England is, is the, the, the mecca of soccer. And uh, I mean, playing in the championship, you know, with Middlesbrough, it's it's a great honor, you know, which I thank them a lot, you know, for for making this opportunity, you know, happen for me. And uh, all I'm gonna do is, you know, work my best that, as I've done in Kansas City. So, but, I mean, that stadium was definitely one of the best stadiums I've ever played in. And uh, from day one to the last game, you know, against Colorado, it's always fun to be in front of you guys. It's always fun to, to battle in front of you guys. It's always fun. The cauldron never stops. The South End never stops. It gives us so much energy, you know, and just the people that don't even know much about soccer that came up to, into that stadium and changed, you know. They say, I'm definitely coming back, you know. It's it's joy to, to hear that. It's a joy to walk around town and seeing bumper stickers of, Ken, of Sporting KC on all these cars. Um, to know where soccer was, you know, during our Wizards days, to uh, you know, going into the, the 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 stadium and you know being sporting, you know, and I mean, without you guys, it wouldn't happen. And for me, you know, I leave today, you know, I leave now and move on in my career. But there's just great guys in that locker room. There's great, you know, guys and the and the great people in the front office that's working so hard, you know, to make sure that Kansas City is one of the best soccer, you know, city in the whole America. And uh, I mean but we can't do all that without you guys. So for me again, like I said, I would just want to say thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for being there for me. Thank you guys, you know, for supporting me, for giving me so much love, you know, for helping me with my charity. Oh my God, for everything. I mean I came into Kansas City you know, without expecting anything. And I'm coming out of Kansas City right now, you know, meeting my fiance in Kansas City, meeting my fiance with sport in Kansas City. And, uh, you know, I can't forget, you know, my dog, Chelsea, you know, who's part of my family so deeply now. And, uh, you know, I came into Kansas City with nothing and I'm leaving out of Kansas City with a big family, you know, not just those two people, but also the whole fan base, the whole people in Kansas City that took care of me when I'm there people at Westport, people at Power and Light, you know, people everywhere, I mean, it's just, it's just great, you know, all the friends I've made in Kansas City, I mean, hopefully we'll be friends forever, and uh, I just look forward to coming back there someday, no matter what, it, you know, it's for, whether it's for playing, whether it's, you know, just coming there to work, you know, and the youth and anything, but definitely I'm going to be, you know, coming back to Kansas City someday, because, like I said, Kansas City is my home, and Kansas City will always be my home. And I just want to thank you guys so, so much for everything that you did for me, you know, for getting me to this point where I am today. Because, honestly. No, no. Okay, I'm Okay. Okay. Because, sorry about that, because honestly, it's. I mean. Kansas City was not, you know, the dream that I ever thought it would be. And but then coming out of there is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I want to thank you guys again. Thank you guys so much for for the messages, you know, the send off, the good send off when I went to Norwich and even now for people, you know, understanding the reason why I'm leaving and telling me good luck, you know, that means so much instead of, you know, I'm so sorry to, you know, all the kids and everybody that's looked up to me that I have to leave now. You know, Coco, Coco, Kamara, I love you. Uh, thanks for so much love. And uh, to everyone, please, I'm so sorry that, you know, I had to take off, but I have to do something that's right for me and my family. And uh, I have to compete. I have to get to another place in the world where, you know, I can meet some new people and make some new fans, make some new friends, and uh, just enjoy the game that I love, the game that I live for. Because without soccer, you know, there's no me. 
and I just appreciate every single one of you guys, you know, for helping me go through this journey, you know, together. And I really, really, you know, I love you guys, you know. So thank you, thank you, Kansas City. Thank you, everybody that's been involved, um, helping me out throughout these years. I really appreciate you, and I love you guys. Got to do it. Hardship ends.